Glory to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Today I would like to speak on the topic of Hebrews, Thou Are Rich. I'll be reading from Romans, 2 Corinthians, and Revelations. And it reads, Paul, a servant of Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of the Most High, which he had promised for by his prophets and the Holy Scriptures, concerning his Son Christ, our Lord which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of the Most High with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship, for obedience to the faith among all nations, for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Christ, to all that be in Rome beloved of the most high called to be saints grace to you and peace from the most high our father and the lord christ here we have paul speaking to the children of israel that are scattered abroad in rome how do i know this he states that by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to faith among all nations for his name so we know that Christ was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And we know that we, as the children of Israel, receive grace and apostleship by faith among all nations through Christ. And Paul goes on to verify this by saying, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Hebrew first and also to the Greek. Now, we know that we had certain Hebrews that were living in Rome that were classified as Greek um, just by their dwelling place, but not by nationality. And um, we also know that later on in Romans that that Paul warns not to boast against the natural branches, okay? But here he's writing to the Israelites, and let's continue to verify this. I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul is from the tribe of Benjamin. Paul, an apostle of Christ, by the will of the Most High, and Timothy, our brother, unto the church of the Most High, which is at Corinth, with all the saints which are in Achaia. So Paul is writing to Israelites in Achaia. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, and utterance, and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. I speak not by the commandment, but by the occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. For ye know the grace of our Lord Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. And herein I give my advice. For this is expedient for you who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be for a year ago. So Paul was letting them know that through Christ, he was rich, but for our sakes, he became poor by suffering on the cross for our sins. And through his poverty, we were made rich. Now, who was made rich? Let's continue to find out. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end, which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remained the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ, 
But even until this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. So, here we have Paul speaking about the children of Israel. And he's making reference to the Old Testament. We know that the Most High was only dealing with the children of Israel in the Old Testament. So we know that Paul is referring to the children of Israel. Although they are in poverty, they have been made rich through the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior. Now let's go to the book of Revelations. And unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Hebrews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Now, we just read that the Hebrews were made rich through the suffering of the Messiah, the the suffering of Christ. But we are rich. How do we know that he's speaking to the Hebrew Israelite? Well, if we search out Smyrna, we will find the first site rose to prominence during the Archaic period. We know that Paul was writing to the people in Archaea. These people were Hebrew Israelites. So with that being said, we know that Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. He was writing to his brethren. He was letting them know that through Christ's suffering and resurrection that we were made rich. And it tells us in Revelations that the Most High through Christ knows our works and tribulations and poverty, but we are rich. And he knows the blasphemy of them which say they are Hebrews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So, by one or two witnesses shall the word of the Most High be established. We know that this refers to the Hebrew Israelites, but we are rich through the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Christ. And we look forward to return of the king. Those who have near, let them hear what the Spirit says.